For a lot of you who are dissatisfied that not enough stuff comes out on this channel, um, I would just say that, you know, this channel isn't really my main focus at this point. My podcast, Deep Fat Fried, is. Um, you know, we shoot for that three days a week, sometimes four, depending on what our production schedule is for the week. Uh, we're making a lot of big investments into that channel. We're also making a lot of big investments in terms of uh, launching Dank Dungeons and Drunken Dragons as an official show. It's something we've done for our patrons for a while. Uh, we're trying to get it on the level where it can be its own standalone concept. We know there's already a lot of role-playing stuff on YouTube, but we think that our concept is unique enough to stand out amongst that crowd. So we're doing that. Uh, but as for this channel, uh, don't think I've completely forgotten that I am working on a very big video, a bigger video than I've probably ever done on this channel. And uh, I don't want to talk too much about what it's going to be at this point, but I think you're going to be pleased, uh, or at least interested, to see what it is. <clears throat> but today I just want to do a quick video about Kyle Kushev. I apologize for pronouncing the name wrong. I'm terrible with names. I don't give a fuck, really. Uh, he's a Parkland survivor, you know, the Parkland uh, massacre where X amount of people died. Who can keep their shootings straight anymore? Um, <laughs> uh, especially that Pulse nightclub attack in, uh, in Orlando. No one can keep that straight. That's uh, a gay joke, but not a homophobic one. Just one that references the fact that they are not straight. Get it? You see? Say it's not. It's not offensive. It's just it deals with touchy subject matter, but the joke itself doesn't say anything offensive. So it's fine. It's safe. It's good. I don't know if it's good. It's safe, though. Hopefully it's safe. I don't fucking know. Who knows anymore? So anyway, Kyle Kushev, he's a conservative kid who went to Parkland. As you know, a lot of the Parkland kids became liberal activists, you know, and that's fine, that's cool, you know. I think, uh, you know, your school gets shot up, it gets you into political activism, that's a good thing. Whether you decide to be a conservative who fights to protect gun rights because you don't think guns are to blame, or you're a liberal who fights to, you know, regulate guns or ban guns or whatever extreme you take it to, or, you know, whatever, uh, it's, I think it's great, wonderful. You know, it's good that you're at least fucking doing something. What I hate are the people who say, let's not politicize this. No, you have to politicize it because it is a political issue. A social issue that's affecting, um, you know, society and shit. That's politics. That's inherently politics. You can't avoid that. So stop with the let's not politicize it. No, let's politicize it. Whether you want to politicize it to the left, the right, the center, whatever, politicize it, for fuck's sake. Let's have a real argument. Let's have a real discussion. Uh, anyway, so this kid, he's met Trump. I think he's probably done a photo op with Trump. You know how Trump loves his fucking photo ops and what president doesn't. Uh, he's got a big old Twitter following, 300,000 plus followers on Twitter. Uh, and he's got uh, good grades. He's an academic achiever, you know. A uh, high SAT score. So high an SAT score, and so good uh, grades, and uh, so notable his political activism that he was actually accepted into Harvard, uh, you know, university. So let's, uh, congratulations, Kyle Kushev, for your acceptance to Harvard, buddy. Good job, you. Oh, wait, it says here, actually, uh, two years ago, you uh, used the N-word repeatedly in a Google Doc. And apparently someone else with access to that doc leaked it, and uh, you you were ha you had to release this apology. Actually, you didn't have to release this apology, but you said, uh, I have recently been made aware of screenshots circulating that include offensive comments former classmates and I made a few years ago, long before the shooting. I want to address this with honesty and transparency. We were 16-year-olds making idiotic comments using callous and inflammatory language in an effort to be as extreme and shocking as possible, I'm embarrassed by it. But I want to be clear that these comments I made are not indicative of who I am or who I uh, have become in the years since. Uh, this past year has forced me to mature and grow in an incredibly drastic way. My world, like everyone else in Parkland, was turned upside down on February 14th. When your classmates, your teachers, your neighbors are killed, it transforms you as a human being. I see the world through different eyes and am embarrassed by the petty, flippant kid represented in those screenshots. I believe uh, those I've gotten to know since uh, know I'm a better person than that. I can and will do better moving forward. <clears throat> now, I hate 
these sorts of bullshit apologies. Uh, I, I hate all this I've matured as a person nonsense. You know, you know, we're all pieces of shit, all right? You know, no one needs to apologize for anything. Everyone on this planet is fucking guilty. You're all pieces of shit. The sooner you fucking recognize and realize it, the better. I'm a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. We're all pieces of shit. Let's fucking hold hands and sing kumbaya and be pieces of shit together and live in peace and harmony with one another to whatever extent that may be possible. Uh, but whatever, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's my fucked up worldview. You can dismiss that. It has nothing ultimately to do with what I have to say here. Um... So anyway, Harvard decided that on the basis of this document where he said the N-word with a hard R multiple times, they were going to rescind his acceptance to Harvard. Um, now he, he said to them, look, this is I was a stupid, childish thing. I've matured, blah, 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 all that stuff. They're like, we don't care. You're a racist. You're a bad boy. You're naughty. You're kicked out of Harvard. Or <laughs> before you even get in, you're kicked out. Uh, <clears throat> so he fought hard to get back in. Uh, and he documented the whole thing on Twitter, and it went super viral, and everyone paid attention, and he even went trending on Twitter for a minute, uh, but you know, the news cycle is like that, so I wish I could snap, that would have made it more dramatic, but I can't. Soft hands, real soft hands. Also makes it hard to cook, you know, and I love cooking, but, uh, I keep, you know, I don't have chef's hands, I don't have carpenter's hands, I just have soft, girly hands. I think I was meant to give hand jobs for a living, but unfortunately, uh, just it didn't work out, I guess. <laughs> Maybe my technique is bad. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, Harvard, uh, here's the thing about them. Here's why, I, you know, the, the, I should say this has divided people. I, mean, I think it's obvious that it's divided people because everything fucking divides people. But it's even divided people on the left. I've seen people on the left who traditionally would be like, you know, hang him, hang him, you know. Uh, just saying, you know, hey, he was just a kid, you know, we, we can let this one slide. I don't think we should hold everyone to account for something they said when they were 16. And other people saying, fuck that, yeah, you can, hold them to account, hold them to account, hold them to account. <clears throat> now, it should, it should come as no surprise to you that I'm not in the hold them to account camp. Uh, I don't believe in account. I don't believe in holding people to account. I don't believe in all this nonsense. Uh, but here's the thing, even whether you, even if you disagree with my worldview and think it's fucked up and nihilistic and blah blah blah, wham wham wham, boo hoo, go cry to your fucking god or whatever the fuck you've got. And don't think just because you're an atheist you haven't got a god, motherfucker, because most of you are just as bad as the religious cocksuckers. You're just as prone to dogma. Once again, doesn't have anything to do with anything. But, um, <clears throat> uh, the First Amendment, you guys know that thing, right? That thing that guarantees freedom of speech. Uh, I know what you're saying. Oh, well, Harvard, Harvard is a private institution. It's a private university. You know, they're, just, they're not... Freedom of speech protects you from government censorship. It doesn't protect you from censorship from Harvard. Well, did you know that Harvard gets $550.5 million in uh, federal government funding? Were you aware of that? So, our tax dollars are paying for $550.5 million in federal government funding... For an institution that just uh, kicked someone out for political reasons. For uh, for making unpopular speech. Uh, that doesn't seem right to me. Seems kind of the opposite. You know, if he, if he is to Harvard's academic standards, and he is to, um, which he clearly is because he was accepted, um, it, you know, if he's to their academic standards, then uh, that should be the only criteria. Uh, as far as, like, Harvard, does we reserve the right to morally pronounce this and that? I don't care. No, you don't, you don't have that right. You want that right? Turn down the $550 million in government funding. Then you can, you can talk about your great morals. Uh, but freedom of speech doesn't give a shit about your morals. Freedom of speech is freedom of speech. And it means that I can have morals that you find horrible and wrong. And you can have morals that I find horrible and wrong. And... Uh, and we have to find a way to coexist with one another. So if you're going to take this government money, you have no right to kick this kid out of school, and he should sue the fucking pants off you. And if Donald Trump has any balls, uh, he'll do what he'll he'll fucking he'll go to Harvard and be like, hey, let this kid in, or your government funding's gone. And don't I know there's probably some constitutional scholar motherfuckers out there 
about to tell me about how Trump doesn't have the power to do that because this, that, and the other thing, and it's this branch that controls that, and he's the executive, and they're this, and whatever. I don't know. I don't know the specific details. All I know is he's the fucking president. There's some way he can fucking make it happen if he really wants to. But will he take that stand? I don't know. You know, he, he, wanted, to, uh, he wanted to hug up on this kid when it was time for the photo op. Will he actually help him now? That's the real question. Uh, so the Supreme Court, by the way, has reaffirmed multiple times, in case you're thinking hate speech, well, you know, it's different because it's hate speech. The Supreme Court of this country has repeatedly reaffirmed there is no hate speech exception to the First Amendment. Uh, they unanimously reaffirmed it as recently as 2017. That means not one justice dissented. Not one justice on the Supreme Court, conservative, liberal, whatever, uh, said that hate, there is a hate speech exception to freedom of speech. There's not a hate speech exception. It's never been accepted that there's a hate speech exception. Freedom of speech includes the freedom to be a fucking bigot. And you can dislike that all you want, you can go cry about it all you want, but that's just how the fuck it is. Uh, so Americans have the right to be bigots. I don't know that Kyle Kushev is a bigot. I think he's probably not. I think he was just a kid trying to use shock humor to amuse his other friends. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Not in my humble fucking opinion. Oh, who am I kidding? My opinion is not fucking humble. Anyway, that's all I have to say about it. This kid should sue. Trump should fucking stand up for this kid. Um, and, uh, yeah, fuck, fuck anyone who thinks that an institution that's uh, taking $550 million of government money uh, subsidized by the taxpayers shouldn't uphold freedom of speech. They absolutely should. Peace the fuck out.